Dr. Lori. I'm in Burnham, Pennsylvania, not far from State College, Pennsylvania, and I found more ceramics. I like to look through and see that's pretty, but not too valuable. Um, the mark's all covered up. So these are just transferred on, you know, standard salad plates. Um, but below it, we do like what's below it. So here's some Blue Ridge, the Southern Potteries, hand-painted, the 1930s, 40s. This is really nice. I'm going to put those down there carefully. <laughs> and uh, this really reminds me of um, Christmases with my family because we used to eat off of Blue Ridge for Christmas. That was high-end, you know, dishes for holidays. We didn't have big holiday dishes, but three of them. And here come the marks. The Blue Ridge marks are a little different. So here's a Blue Ridge mark which is a little later piece of Blue Ridge and here and you can see the circular Blue Ridge mark and then you can see this decoration always very well hand painted sometimes you get the green edge you can see the green edge with the tulips too and that I'm gonna put down here and you can see um, the same Blue Ridge as that other one the green edge has the same you know Blue Ridge Mountain mark that's known for southern potteries and then that nice pattern here and then this one is older so this one is the traditional blue ridge without the rim painted um, nice four petal flowers um, probably trying to look like dogwood and then the mark is different so again the marks for the same companies can change over time so I wanted you to look at these these are nice these are good now uh, $1.99 for each one each one of these Blue Ridge pieces. You could sell these online at Etsy, on eBay, Ruby Lane, um, any of those places. And you can sell each one easily for 20 bucks. So these are really nice. Um, now, again, you're trying to help somebody to make a, come together and make a, um, a set, you know, to complete their set. What else is over here? I like the fruit. I like the fruit dishes, but, um, well, it's $1.99 for two, but these are just made in China. These, these are, these are decorative, but well, for $1.99, they're okay, but they're not really, I, I would probably leave those here. Um, but I do like the decoration. If you see the hand-painted ones, those are nice. And then these, I would take a second look at, because these, of course, are um, Moyet's Bouquet, Staffordshire, England. I'll show you the mark. I'm sorry about the tape. They tape everything. Well, I guess they want to keep things together. But English, Staffordshire English ceramics. And then these pieces, this is a characteristic look. So these plates are relatively characteristic where you see, again, the transfer wear image, that's the black. Sort of think of a, um, think of a coloring book. And then you've got the hand coloring inside. So those are really nice. These are really nice. Now for $3.99, four, one, two, three, four. So say it's a dollar a plate. I would say, well, it's about a dollar a plate. And my math is terrible. <laughs> Um, what would I say for these? These are probably eight dollars a plate, so a dollar to eight. So you're getting you're getting eight times, right? Eight times that. And again, we have permission to be to be taping in the store today, so I can teach you and show you what we're thrifting for. I like these, colorful. Uh, they're not ma made by a particularly great manufacturer, but they're colorful. Um, a lot of people like to see those. And what else have we got? Well, let's see if we can find some China China, you know what I mean? Like this is sort of everyday dishes, um, but I want to see if we can find some nice porcelain China, maybe hand painted stuff, um, not unlike what we found. Maybe something blue and white would be good. Um, I really like blue and white, you know, it's a, a great traditional type of look, and I like to see that. Um, Here's a reticulated plate, and you know, a punched out reticulated plate, you gotta look, oh wow, that was lucky. That was really lucky, look at that. So that was pretty lucky. Bavarian Schumann, that's, that was lucky that I moved this, this, this cheap black and white plate um, in order to find this piece, which is a Schumann piece. Really nice decoration, mid-century modern porcelain. Look at that bright whiteness. And here's the mark you're looking for. And now I'm gonna start counting. <laughs> Let's see how many we got. One. One in my hand is two. That's three. Here's four. Oh, only four, but four is good. <laughs> four is good at 199. These are really nice. These are 15 each. So 
So these are really nice. I like these a lot. Look how pretty the flowers are. Look at the decoration. And of course the, sh the rim, which is gold. And it doesn't look like it's been taken away at all. It doesn't look like, you know, somebody mistakenly put it through the uh, dishwasher. And a nice Bavarian mark. Got some nice German ceramics in this, in this aisle. Eh, I don't want to crack them that way. Let me do that. Okay. And what else do I like? I like blue and white. These are not all that expensive, but I like blue and white pieces in general. Um, there's the reticulated piece, but I'm not crazy about the center. And when you see this, not for food use, for decorative use only, you know that this is inexpensive. You know, it's it basically what it means is there's lead um, in it, and you should be careful to use it and introduce food to it. So it's for decorative nature. So all of this I'm going to put back. <laughs> All that goes back there. <laughs> um, I'm still looking for that blue-white china. And lo and behold, here it is. Here's the blue-white china. Let's see what we can find in terms of that. And lots of it. Wow. Imperial. Okay. So uh, mid-20th century imperial china. And we gotta, now we got to add. Now I'm going to have to take out my phone and the calculator. <laughs> to add all this up because this is, look at this, we've got serving, we've got platters, you've got sauce boats, you've got the creamers, right? <clears throat> you have the dinner plates, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, you've got finger bowls or fruit bowls for dessert or berries. You've got an open serving bowl, big platter, small platters, um, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Wow, wow, wow. Bread plates and so and soup bowls and well there's a China jackpot. I wanted blue and white. There it is. I like the gold with the blue and white too. Um, and that's just a preference. A lot of people really like the silver. I think that looks good too, but this is really nice. So Imperial looks like it just came out of the box as if it's never even been displayed. Just like it's just been sitting somewhere. And we see a lot of that with the china. So if you added it up, I would say definitely this is a this is a great this is a great buy. Um, Sixteen dollars here and another. Let's see. Even the dinner plates are only one ninety nine each. So you got a two dollar dinner plate. So that's pretty good. And we saw the mark. Make sure all the marks are the same. When you're looking at pieces, you want to make sure that the marks are the same. <laughs> And, and got to be careful too. <laughs> and I easily, easily you're looking at, for the whole piece, you're going to sell them all together, you're looking at $275. So that's beautiful. So when you go to checkout, you're certainly not paying that for all of these. These are, this is a nice set. That's a really nice set. Um, what else do we see? Let's see. But I was looking for like blue and white. I was looking for that traditional sort of will, blue willow look. And you think you'd have a lot of those looking around here. Let's see what else we've got. Well, here, here's some blue and white, but only partial, only a partial set. You only got four dishes. But if, you, yeah, if you're someone like me, right, so you're single, you know, or you're not entertaining a lot of the time, you don't want to store a lot of dishes, this could be a good thing. Um, but, yeah, these are not, not a great name, you know, not a great uh, manufacturer is my point. So that's one of the things that I would think, uh, I think twice about before I take this one. Let's see what else we've got. That looks good. Nice. It's pretty nice. And, but a lot of this is really looking around and seeing what's been moved where. So that's a cute little set here. I don't know, maybe we got a better mark on this one. You know, they, the labels are really a problem. But this set is cute. And I would think that this set easily for, I don't even know how much they are. Are they $1.99 each? So these are mid-century as well, a little bit later, the late 1950s. It's sort of that design that looks almost like it's space age. So it looks like starbursts and stuff, oftentimes highlighted with either gold or silver like these. And this is porcelain. See how bright and white the clay is. And I would say definitely you're going to get $35 for those two pieces that you're going to pay $3 for. So three to make 35 is great. And they're vintage too. So I like those. Um, oh, well, see, here's more Asian pieces, more pieces out of Asia. And scratches, so I'd leave that here. 
Um, but they're hand painted with the luster wear. They're going to say Japan on the back. And there they say Japan. Um, so these pieces date to the post war period. Um, and then some more of the same kind of teacups, hand painted Nippon. And of course, this one too, and behind it is also Japanese. But unfortunately, there's only two cups and one saucer. So, you know, for $2.99, you probably would pass this up. There's the mark. And these Japanese marks all date to the same time period. So they're by different manufacturers. They're after World War II, but before the 1960s. So you've got that 1945 to 1960 time period, all these different marks, all from the same time period. Um, value, these are probably about $10 for the set of two, but they're asking $2 for it, $10 for the set of two, and $10 for the set of three, but they're asking $2.99. So that's a little bit high for that. I'd still go back over here and I'd get those. I'd get those and I think I'm gonna put those in my cart because I was forgetting about that. I'm gonna put them in the cart. So lots of nice china ceramics. Didn't exact, the Blue Ridge I love. I thought the Blue Ridge was great. This looks like an American piece, gravy boat, like a Homer Laughlin type of thing. Yeah, actually, Carlton china. So American made, Carlton. Um, you know, nice. Not so much gravy, though. Like, my family, we'd have to forget it. We'd have to, like, fill that five times. <laughs> so, I think it's a little small. Uh, I don't know what, there's no tag on it. Oh, two ninety nine. dollars No, I'd leave this here. That needs to get a different, different price, different price. Is this corning? No, looks like corning, but not. So, pots, pans, and such. And from the as seen on TV part of this shop, let's move through some of these things. Oh yeah, look at this. <laughs> yeah. Pasta in the microwave. You can pasta in more. You can serve it. You can, oh my gosh, you can do everything. You can cook, you can drain, you can serve using the same microwave pot. Pasta's gonna taste terrible from the microwave. I'm sorry. My Italian family, and look at how little it is. We'd never be able to do this. My mother used to use that big yellow pyrex, that big ceramic bowl. You've seen it. It has all the concentric different colored ceramic pyrex bowls. That was our pasta bowl, the big one. And it tastes terrible out of the microwave. Ugh. I don't even like pasta the next day. I don't like pasta the next day. I like pasta that night. You just got it out of the hot water and then you eat it. You can't hold pasta too long, but this wouldn't work at all. Uh, oh, yeah, well, not a Hummel. Looks like a Hummel, not a Hummel. There are knockoffs. So it's in its box, but not a Hummel. Oh, hey, spongeware, spongeware. Well, it's not Bennington spongeware. You want Bennington spongeware. This is false craft spongeware. Cute, though. Reminds me. I always like the blue because, you know, from New England, there's a lot of spongeware in New England. Stoneware, ceramic, heavy ceramic. $3.99 is too much for this, but, you know, kind of cute, and it reminds me of home, and I like the blue and the white, so. Okay, well, spongeware. Oh, this is for syrup, by the way. That's for your pancakes. It's not for cream. It's for pancakes, syrup. So, uh... Travel stuff's always expensive, but this is really nice. This is a built New York piece, and it's a laptop sleeve for your laptop. It's neoprene, so if it gets wet, you know, it'll repel all that, and that's really good. This is nice. you got to check the zippers. Make sure the zippers are, yeah, see, the zippers are working nicely. But made in the early 2000s, this is really pretty nice. How much? $3.99, yeah. This is a bargain. This is definitely a bargain for your laptop. These are expensive. This one doesn't look stained. This one looks like it's in great shape still, almost like new. Uh, you know, recognize the logo, of course. And for $3.99, this one is, I'm not gonna leave it here for you, but this one is a real good one. Value on this today, $49.99. These are 50 bucks, so that's really good. There it is, come and get it. So you have to take the Titanic game, right? The Titanic game is just, is funny to me because um, first of all, the whole the object of the game is to obviously get into the raft or to get on the door. Remember, of course, she's on the door and that's how she survives and, you know, he dies. Well, we were watching it with my very, my, one of my four-year-old nieces. She was very, very young at the time and she walks in and we're all like, oh, we don't want her to see the end because it's upsetting. We don't want her to be upset. She walks in and she just looks at us all and she goes, I know, they all die. <laughs> 
so she knew the ending. We didn't realize that she had seen it already. Anyway, so there's one of those, those vintage games you want to look at. But this one is one that you got to pick up for $4.99. And uh, resale value on these games is going to be pretty high, probably in the $50, $60 range. Well, you know, and then you got a whole load of books. Now, I'm always looking for cookbooks. I like cookbooks. But let's see what we've got. Oh, the big book of exercises. Well, not big enough for me. <laughs> you got to have a really big book of exercises. So that I'm going to put right back, and I'm going to hide it. Because who wants to really read that? <laughs> we don't want to do that. What else have we got here? Oh, here's a Tom Clancy. Oh, well, a lot of pages. <laughs> that's, that's, I don't think we're reading that. Let's see what else have we got here. I don't see the cookbooks. Oh, you know, some of those. And what to expect when you're expecting us for people. <laughs> well, here's, some, here's a cookbook. The Home Cooking Library. Oh, with Pillsbury. The Pillsbury Doughboy. That could be good. I like that. Let's see. What else would I be looking for? Oh, here's some more cookbooks. Casual entertaining. And I like the cookbooks that have the, you know, the, um, the hardcovers because you can wipe them clean because I'm a little bit of a messy cook. <laughs> kind of messy with that. What else here? Oh, Lisa Scott Aline. I like these. I like her. I like certain authors that are going to sort of tell me a story and they don't make it too long. Uh, my mother used to read Danielle Steele. I'm reading my Danielle Steele. That meant we had to all be quiet. <laughs> she liked that. She liked that. What's this? Oh, how to catch the action, matching position and light. Oh, that's for, uh, I thought those were familiar. The cake doctor. So this person does cakes. Doctor's cake mix to create delicious desserts. Yeah, I like that. That could be good. See, that is a good book because, you know, it's, it's a nice book. Barbara Walters. Nice. Not too many art books. Art books can be very valuable. I don't see too many art books here. Uh, foods that harm and heal. So cookbooks, children's literature, and, of course, art books. Always good for you to look at. The Cupcake Queen. That's what I wanted them to call me, the Cupcake Queen. <laughs> I want to be a queen of cupcakes or candy because I like candy too. <laughs> Lots of good books. Make sure when you open up the books, they don't smell of anything. You don't want books that are old, have odor. That means that they've been somewhere damp for a long time. So be careful of that. Hardcover's good. Always look for first editions. Nice. Well, as always, I leave it for you because I don't want to compete with you. We found some great stuff. I'm going to empty this out. I'm going to put this back so you can find it when you're here. That's the Staffordshire. That's, of course, the German pieces. And, oh, my favorite, the Blue Ridge. But it goes back, too, on the shelf. I hope you find it.